So in this segment, we're going to be talking about a comment Naomi um, Long, the leader of the Alliance Party, saying, you know, where was the cross-community um, consent in Northern Ireland for Brexit? And because Brexit was, you know, the, the Northern Ireland protocol was an international agreement, there was no need for cross-community consent. But she raised an interesting question of the fact that people are arguing, you know, we need cross-community consent for the Northern Ireland protocol, even though it was agreed, um, you know, years ago. It just doesn't make sense. So we'll jump to what she has to say impediment facing business at the moment is political instability and that has always been the case and the government at times play fast and loose with our political stability here I mean I listened carefully to Robert saying the importance of consent where was consent in Northern Ireland for Brexit where was the concern about the impact on the Good Friday Agreement that's true you know because people experts at the time were saying this will be problematic for Northern Ireland what about the Good Friday Agreement etc and Brexiteers said or oh, technological solutions or only a madman would leave the single market etc these are the things brexiteers said at the time and now look at them realizing once the rubber hits the road it's not as easy as they thought it was going to be when the majority of people in Northern Ireland did not consent to that change. Instead, the government not only ploughed ahead with Brexit, but ploughed ahead with the hardest form of Brexit. And the protocol was designed, not something that I supported, but was designed by his own government as a soft landing zone for Brexit, in order that Northern Ireland would be as insulated from the difficulties that Brexit was going to create in terms of trade friction. It also presents us with opportunities. But the only way we can actually exploit those opportunities to balance the negatives is if we get back into government and start working together to deliver for people what businesses need is an agreed solution Thank I don't necessarily agree with everything she's saying there about the UK trying to insulate Northern Ireland from the problems of the Brexit I think that was the only way for them you know to answer the border question which is you can't take Ireland out of the EU single market you can't put a hard border in the island of Ireland you have to put a border in the Irish Sea. That's why they did it, not not to protect Northern Ireland. I think they did it for that reason. Um we need an agreed way forward. We are pragmatic around the protocol. If there are ways that the protocol can be diminished in terms of its impact, then let's grasp that with both hands. But what we can't do is throw the protocol out because without the protocol, the entire trade and cooperation agreement between the EU and the UK is put in jeopardy. And that will have major impacts for everyone in terms of creating potential trade war and inflationary pressures. Now, we need to think long and hard about whether we want to layer upon layer the challenges that people are facing or whether as politicians we should be sitting down rationally looking for yeah. solutions to make life easier for the people we represent and and she's right you know that the alliance party are pragmatic um and they talk about the damage the northern ireland protocol has done to um, northern ireland which isn't really that true how much damage would a trade war do to northern ireland that's that's you know a more important question that if a hard border has to go up right and if goods going between northern ireland and the republic of ireland are checked uh, and there are tariffs etc how damaging would that be for northern ireland's economy and also ireland's economy how bad would that be but um you know naomi long you know asking the question where was the cross community consent for brexit where was it originally for the northern ireland protocol now suddenly they've changed their minds haven't they but um anyways you know she says they play fast and loose with northern ireland you know what cross community consent when it suits them but um, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and um, support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.